Hi friends, in this video we are going to see how to create the front view of moving bus animation using PowerPoint. I am going to create a road using the rectangle shape. Um, I am going to use the edit option, edit point option to get the required shape. The idea here is to create a long road. Uh, so if you see uh, the uh, long road the both side, uh, sides of the road will converge at the distance point. So that's the idea behind uh, creating this shape. Uh, let, let me make the uh, for this point also straight. So now uh, select the record color. Um, next step is get some uh, good uh, uh, background or lawn. So uh, maybe I can put cartoon lawn. Let me select on good lawn here. Yeah, this one. Okay, fit it in, uh, with along with the road. Okay, delete the text. Okay, yeah now. Uh, we have a, uh, a lawn with the road. Okay, now let's get uh, the front view car image uh, from internet. So this is the image I got. So next let's get few roadside trees. You can search uh, trees, cartoon. Okay, let's select two or three trees. Okay, so let's resize the trees uh, based on our need. Okay, this looks fine. Okay, so we have a few trees now. Uh, let's now uh, do a proper animation. I'm going to apply the um, motion path animation. So inside in motion path, I'm selecting the line animation and the direction is towards upwards. The, uh, I, can, I can adjust the motion path. Uh, the idea here is to, you know, um, to make sure like the tree uh, follows the roadside. Okay. Next I'm going to add one more animation called grow and shrink animation. Um, uh, the whole idea is like you know if the object moves away from us like uh, uh, the size will be smaller. So that's the idea behind this. So once the tree moves away from the bus it should uh, the size should reduce. So for that I have both the animation you know, running parallel. Uh, make sure like the timing of both the, the duration of both the animations are same. The growth shrink and the motion path animation are same. Also like uh, uh, they start at the same time. So let's see how it looks like. Yeah it looks better. Maybe it needs some smaller fine tunings. Okay so you can select the motion path uh, yeah, and you can drag uh, the end animation where it needs to be okay so now it is over the road so I can move towards slightly towards left yeah still it's on the road yeah it's better now uh, still it needs a slight tuning mm. Yeah, looks okay for me. So now let's see how it looks when we place the uh, like the bus. So let's bring it front. Mm. 
uh, looks okay but like we can still see the tree at the back uh, so what we can do is we can still reduce the size of uh, in the uh, grow string animation uh, so go to the settings uh, there like make change from 25 to 10 percentage uh, maybe we need to adjust the path slightly here yeah, just bring uh, the tree little down yep uh, looks better okay now let's see yeah so now it looks okay so uh, let's do the same thing for the other two trees Okay, so next I'm I'm going to copy the same tree again. So it will uh, so the animation will also get copied along with this. I'm giving some delay uh, of 1.5 millisecond, uh, you know 1.5 seconds, so that we'll have a continuous um, trees animation. And for the next tree, I'm going to just copy the animation using animation painter and just apply it to the other tree. Let's see how it looks like and uh, okay and apply the same delay here as well. Okay, so first tree and yeah. Okay, so just bring the bus to front. So we have now four trees. So next to make uh, the animation in a continuous loop. So go to select all the animation, go to the settings make it uh, animation until end of slide so yeah uh, so now it looks okay but not fine maybe like a couple of things what we can do is one thing is like uh, we, i can increase the speed of the animation and also like add more trees before that uh, uh, for, uh, one thing i'm going to do is and uh, add a delay between the two trees uh, uh, so so that we'll see the continuous trees or the two trees at the same time in the screen let me add uh, no, two more trees so just copy one tree at the right and also copy one tree on the left um, and give the proper animation uh, the delay as well uh, no a delay of uh, half the delay one second let's see how it see now yeah now we can see three uh, trees continuously on the screen looks better mm, bring the bus in front and see how it looks Okay, one thing I can do is I can you know change the timing like uh, so uh, change the delay of the second tree to point sound fair and the third one to one point sound fair and the whole duration to two point two five. Basically, I'm just splitting the two point two five into three uh, uh, times slots. So it's better now. Next, I'm going to I want to add. Uh, uh, a road marker at the front of the bus so I'm uh, just bringing the bus to little down uh, maybe I need to adjust all the animation to suit this new road Next, I'm going to add a, a road marker. So go to the shape, take a rectangle shape, 
uh, so draw a road marker of a certain length give white color mm, go to format shape uh, shape fill mm, select white so we have the road marker ready so now go to the animation uh, give the motion path animation uh, towards up yeah maybe I think it can increase the speed as well so go to this uh, settings make sure like you uh, don't have any smooth thing so have the very fast that 0.5 seconds and put it in a loop bring the bus to front now it looks much better the road mark animation gives a good animation effect for the moving bus so next uh, i can uh, give a tethering animation to the bus so that uh, you know like we will have a, a little shaking uh, feeling of the bus uh, so so which will give more you know uh, real real animation for the moving bus so keep the duration as around 5 seconds uh, you can adjust the tethering duration based on your uh, no, need okay and put it in a loop okay so next um, uh, I'm going to hide the tire uh, uh, marking um, uh, because like it, uh, it, it it gives a feeling like the bus is not moving so either like we can have some kind of animation where uh, the tire mark is moving uh, so the kind of uh, the flag animation which we did uh, previously or uh, the uh, one option is just hide it uh, you know uh, so I'm, I'm just going to hide using a rectangle box so select the same color uh, using the uh, um, shape fill so that will will hide the uh, tire marking do the same thing for the other tire so now let's see yeah, I, I think now it looks much better okay so you need to apply the same tethering uh, or like you can group uh, yeah, group the bus then again apply the tethering animation okay so put it in a loop okay now it's it looks much better so next I am going to add uh, the sky and a few clouds so let's see how it looks So we can further improve this animation by adding uh, the houses and other objects on the roadside and also we can add a driver in the bus etc. So I have created uh, the animation for uh, the wheels on the bus uh, rhymes. So this is the one it looks like. So and uh, th this is the one with vipers and you know uh, and the raindrops so which is used in the rhymes animation. You can add your uh, suggestions and questions in the comment section. Please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.